welcome to the roundtable discussion on lower urinary tract symptoms in the aging male. Which needs more attention, the prostate or the bladder? We have three experts that are going to talk about changes in the aging male and then evaluation and then specific items about management strategies. And to lead off will be Adrian Wagg, who will talk about the influence of aging on the bladder and prostate. Thank you very much. I'm going to talk about some things which will be familiar to many in the audience, and not necessarily because of their academic interest. These are my uh, conflicts of interest. So firstly, a caution. The literature on normal lower urinary tract aging has many confounders. Longitudinal data are rare. Cross-sectional studies are complicated by comorbidity and time-dependent effects in terms of healthcare and treatments. Male da data in general are less available. And mostly, remember, the data describe age-related age associations. Bla the bladder. Mostly data come from urodynamic data on humans with symptoms. There has been a well-described association of aging with a smaller bladder capacity, with small avoided volumes, with increased residual volumes, and an increased prevalence of detrusa overactivity. Most, as I say, most of these data come from people with pre-existing lower urinary tract symptoms. And it is clear that the prostate dominates voiding physiology in the aging male. These are data on flow rate and age from a study by Matthias Alka and colleagues, which shows an age stratified minimum, maximum urinary flow after correction for uh, relevant history and medication therapy. One can see that in the general population, of which there were 553, an age-associated decline in flow rate. Uh, and for those people with a prostate volume of less than 25 milliliters, uh, with much smaller sam sample size and therefore wider confidence intervals, a similar phenomenon. Likewise, residual volumes are found to be increasingly prevalent in later life. For many older people, these, these may be completely asymptomatic. And from the same study, one can see that there is an age-associated increase in residual volume, again in a, an age-stratified group, uh, <clears throat> sorry, with flow rate after correction for other uh, factors and medications. We often misdefine contractility in our field. This is true detrusor contractility from cell preparations very kindly provided by Professor Christopher Fry. And as you can see, detrusor contractility itself does not change in association with aging, whereas we all are aware that bladder contractile function or empty in fact, fact function does appear to decline. This is not true, however, in the presence of detrusor overactivity where there is a clear age-related decline in, uh, in contractility in association with age. This contraction doesn't appear to be dependent upon carbocol, and as you can see that in the presence of both normal bladders and detrusor overactivity, there is no age dependence of carbocol contractions. However, there is an, an obvious and transparent decrease in nerve-mediated me contractions which decline in association with age suggesting that the denervation phenomenon may be responsible. And this has been well described both in studies of uh, acetylcholinase in histological preparations and also in looking at nerve density both with light and electron microscopy. There are, are, is also a change in architecture and it is this, this change in architecture which may be responsible for the change in emptying function we, we see. That the contractile force developed by the detrusor myocyte is damped, much like the, in the aging heart, by the surrounding stiff matrix, which provides a less than efficient transmission of force. There is a well-described increase in collagen in association with greater age, and a decrease in the smooth muscle to connective tissue ratios. There is, however, a similar response to obstruction and to ischemia. 
the increased fibrosis and elastin deposition in elderly non-obstructed bladders is all intriguingly identical to that seen in non-obstructed bladders, responsible for the decline in flow rate in association with ageing well described in females. From the fresh pressure flow plot, as described by Derek Griffiths, one can uh, derive a mathematical function called Q star, which describes the smooth muscle shortening velocity derived from the hill plot for striated muscle. Here we have men and women uh, described in uh, simple age cohorts uh, and the, the Q star shown. There is an age associated decline in smooth muscle shortening velocity. Slightly aside, there is also a decline in urethral pressure in association with aging in men. The small, the fall in maximum urethral pressure, profile, pressure uh, described in men parallels that, that seen in women and may be, associated, uh, may be due to the uh, apoptosis of the urethral rhabdo sphincter, as shown in this slide. Again, these are cross-sectional data, but the pictures show uh, a urethral rhabdo sphincter from a five-week-old and in the lower pain from an 81-year-old. This is shown by the density of muscle cells showing age, an age-associated decline in the graph. The prostate. You will know this is better than I. Histological benign prostatic hyperplasia is strongly age-related and may lead to enlargement and outlet obstruction. Increase in the estradiol dihydrotestosterone ratio promotes stromal proliferation. This, again, is an age-associated phenomenon. Benign prostatic hyperplasia occurs in nearly 80% of men by aged 80. Mean prostate volume also increases, but is very variable. A PSA of 1.4 to 2 nanograms per milliliter is the strongest predictor. LUTs in men, therefore, increase linear linearly over time, and with the fastest increase in the seventh decade. And by aged 80, Approximately one-third of men has received treatment for, for moderate to severe lower urinary tract symptoms. This shows total PSA in association with age from the same uh, study, German cohort. Uh, again, age stratified total PSA adjusted for uh, associated conditions and medications that might affect it, showing an age-associated increase, both for total PSA and when um, the flow age is, uh, sorry, when the uh, PSA is less than four nanograms per mil. Thus we see an increasing prevalence of voiding symptoms in association with aging in men, which parallels that in women, although not to such a great extent. Let's remit, however, in about a third of symptomatic men without treatment, and approximately one third to a half of affected men de develops detrusor overactivity regardless of the presence of significant bladder outflow obstruction. We have some longitudinal data from Ian Milson's cohort in Gothenburg on OAB in aging men. These data describe the prevalence of overactive bladder reported by men interviewed in 1992 with the old definition and again in 2003. And they're grouped according to birth cohort. As you can see, uh, regardless of birth cohort, uh, aging is associated with an increased uh, prevalence of a diagnosis of OAB. Or about other things, it's not all the bladder. Symptoms in older people are often multifactorial. So inflam aging, a concept of chronic inflammation being responsible for some of the changes we see, has a certain credence. Information relating from aging, infection, or inflammatory disease is epidemiologically associated with fibrosis, prostatic fibrosis and also connective tissue changes elsewhere in the body. Tissue from men with lower urinary tract symptoms is significantly stiffer with higher collagen con content and lower glandularity than from men without lower urinary tract symptoms. High sensitivity CRP levels are associated with lower urinary tract symptoms in men. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, what are these changes we're describing? Is it aging? Is it inflammation? Is it ischemia? Or is it the effect of comorbid conditions? We don't yet have the answers. We don't yet have the longitudinal data. We also uh, have neglected the higher centers of control that uh, may mediate lower urinary tract symptoms in associated with aging. Thank you for listening.